Blender is a powerful 3D application, but like its competition, 3ds Max and Cinema 4D, Blender 2 relies on third-party tools and add-ons to make working in 3D more efficient and fast. Cinema 4D has tools like Grayscale Gorilla, X Particles to make doing stuff more practical. So let's look at what the Blender community has to offer. Blender curves have not seen any updates, they still look and function like in the early days. Most of the curve editing tools are enough for most things, but when you look at what other applications offer, you start to see how much is missing in Blender. Thankfully, tools like PenPal bring these new features like fillet curve, chamfer, subdivide and more into Blender. If you're thinking of adding complex patterns onto your mesh, this nano mesh tool comes with templates and options just for that. It comes with a library of nano details, but if you want to use your own custom ones, that option is available too. You can spend hours UV unwrapping objects in Blender or spend just a few seconds. The choice is yours. Zen UV brings a lot of updates and new tools to UV unwrapping in Blender. You can also easily check the orientation of your UVs in the UV editor and change them easily too with the world orientation tool. If you are making assets for sale or to use in game engines or export them to other applications like Unreal Engine or Substance Painter, Zen UV is going to be very, very useful. The topology of your mesh in Blender becomes very important when working with simulations like cloth simulation, soft body simulation, or modifiers that lead to the displacement of the mesh like the bend modifier, displacement modifier, and more. These tools work best with quads, especially grid-like geometry. Unfortunately, Blender has no inbuilt tools for turning triangles or polygons into quads or grids. This is why the grid cut tool was made. It can change any mesh topology into a subdivided grid, which is best for cloth simulation or displacement modifiers. Blender is coded in C, C++ and Python, and its rigid body physics uses the bullet physics system. These were not tools built by the Blender team, they were just borrowed from somewhere else and used in Blender. No one can make anything from scratch, and as artists, you should not try. So, if you are creating characters, why bother modeling the clothes yourself when a library of clothes like the Epic Clothing Pack exists, which comes with everything cloth related you can think of. Even when the characters are too big for the clothes, you have tools to help you size your clothes to fit the character you're dressing up. Rods are easy to make in Blender, but good looking detailed rods are not that easy. That's why this road path creator simplifies this hard task and gives you multiple options and cells of rods to choose from. As a 3D artist, you're expected to be great at a lot of things. Each job comes with its own unique challenges. Having the right mindset and approach goes a long way. Watch this Nebula course to see what goes into a professional's head when they are solving complex problems. This course will help you become a better technical artist, a skill you are going to need as a 3D artist, and additionally, you will learn about volumetrics and nebulas. Speaking of volumetrics, this easy fog add-on uses volumetrics to render fog, mist, and more. The add-on comes with different templates and options to choose from. If your computer is not powerful enough to render fog and mist based on volumetrics, then this fog planes add-on will do the trick. Instead of using volumetrics, it uses alpha textures to create the same effect without the computational requirements needed for volumetrics. The best renders are the renders with detail. If you do sci-fi, this plating generator should be among your favorite tools. It can scatter objects, generate panels, panel lines, plating detail, paneling detail, and patterns, and more. Practical modeling and rendering is about what you can render with what you have. There is no point creating beautiful scenes that your computer can't render. This is very common when rendering large forests. Most computers do not have the power to render the amount of polygons needed for a dense forest. So add-ons like the alpha trees are needed. Instead of using hundreds of polygons for a tree, it just uses a texture on a plane and the results are remarkable, allowing you to render millions of trees that look realistic using a mid-range computer. While alpha trees is great for rendering trees from a distance, if you want a close-up shot of your forest, simple texture planes are not good enough. You will need something with more detail, like this forest generator. The trees are hyper details and the materials are of high quality as well. The generator can generate realistic forest scenes with dense detail with just a few clicks. You can expand the forest as much as you want if your computer can handle that much detail. If you're making an urban landscape, a town, a city, the urbanic city assets pack comes with everything you will need, like buildings, 
billboards, roads, street elements, and over 180 assets ready to use with full textures. You also get decals for adding extra details to your roads. 2004 is here and let's make it a year of production. With a library of 270 VDB assets, the Lazy VFX library is going to speed up your production by guaranteeing you will never need to do a smoke or explosion simulation. The VDBs are highly detailed and well directed to give you the best effect for your VFX shot. If you create cartoon environment or any stylized environment, you will love Frawler Paint. With over 500 assets, you will be able to focus on other stuff that make up your render or story. And when it comes to the environment, let Flora Paint handle that. You will always have an asset for any scenario you want. Making big cities requires big budget. You need the buildings, you need roads, you need high resolution textures and you need them to look good. This is what Cyberscape's Pro does in one click. It produces the detailed buildings, high resolution textures, roads, traffic and everything in between and it's way cheaper than creating everything from scratch. Those are some of the generators that I think can really help you make making animation, film or anything you're doing in Blender more practical. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next year.